I need new real estate postcards. I don't know what to write on my real estate postcards. I need some really good real estate postcard ideas. I need more leads for my business. I wish I had more referrals for my real estate business. I'm having a hard time finding buyers and sellers for my real estate business. This video is gonna help you with that and a whole lot more coming up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Silva. We're going to officially start here in just a minute. I want to let you know how this came about. I'm in the real estate group with all of you and I'm in many real estate groups and somebody put up a post saying, hey, I'm looking for new postcard ideas and I'm not a graphic designer, but I've seen a lot of mailers over the 17 years I've been teaching networking and I see the wording. It drives me crazy. And I see what the other real estate coaches out there teach and it's it could be, it could be improved. I spent the entire weekend putting this presentation together for you and I hope you enjoy it. Real estate postcard ideas to generate more referrals and you can see that on the screen and hopefully you will now see the screen change and I want you to take a deep breath and I want you to imagine this feeling that you get when you show your clients 50 homes and you can't get them to make a purchase my clients keep asking me for discounts I keep getting stood up for appointments I was showing this person homes at the last second they decided to go with someone else freaking hate cold calling I'm having a hard time door knocking in the winter marketing costs so much Facebook leads are so hard to close. They cost so much that people are flaky. They stand me up. They don't show up. How do I stand out against other agents out there? Well, we're going to go over that and a whole lot more. So here's the agenda. So that list, I've gotten these complaints from being in real estate groups. I didn't invent these. I'm sure you, you guys have said some of these things. I'm doing this webinar not only for postcards, but postcards, mailers, door hangers, it's going to help you with your elevator pitch. It's going to help you with your website. And it's going to help you with what to say on the backs of your business cards. We're going to go into great detail on this. Uh, I have a video on my YouTube channel, How I Made a Million Dollars with My Business Cards. There's one sentence on the back of this card that I made over a million dollars with. And I'm going to, again, go over in great detail. So what I'm going to go over today is what you should have, what you should be saying to people and what you should have in writing. But specifically, we're going to do postcards because that was the string in the page. But I don't wish mailers on anyone. I don't like generating leads. I like generating referrals. So these things on the screen are things I'm going to try to help you avoid this is the this is the agenda I'm gonna go as fast as I can so we're gonna talk about me what the difference between a lead and a referral is customer avatar the uses of the words you and your what other coaches teach you which is what got you to kind of use the wrong wording I don't want to get into that what not to say the reticular activating system the indirect sales approach and what to say and could I make this a five minute webinar right now and tell you what to say? I could just tell you, read the back of my card and that's what you need to say. I don't wanna give you a fish. I wanna teach you how to fish. I wanna help you make millions of dollars over your career. And just what I'm gonna teach you today will, will easily do that. So my name is Rick Silva, president and founder of B2B Gathering. I've been facilitating networking groups since August of 2003. I started my company uh, April 1st, 2004. So 17 years I've been running referral groups. If you've heard of BNI, I'm their biggest competitor. Editor. I run monthly networking groups and they're all virtual now. I've seen a lot when it comes to networking, been doing networking, teaching networking for 17 and a half years. I shared the stage with Les Brown. So in that picture, I'm in, uh, I'm 52 now. I am 35 or 36 there and I got to share the stage with Les Brown when I was broke, but I knew this stuff worked. I knew it, I knew it, I knew someday I would get rich from this. I knew the networking that I was born to teach would help people. Just had to figure out how to get the word out. So we jumped from right there being 35, there I'm at, uh, I think I'm 50 in that picture. I used to be an engineer with Eastman Kodak and I was a recruiter with Cisco Systems. I rode a wave of fame and fortune in the dot-com world, made millions at 20 lost it all at 30 if you guys remember the dot-com crash got laid off from Kodak in 98 got laid off from Cisco in 2001 sold jewelry for a little while did yellow pages and yellow pages was the hardest thing I've ever done finding executives jobs getting them 250,000 a year sign on bonus stock options all that was way easier than selling yellow pages yellow pages the hardest thing I've ever done but I've made thousands and thousands of cold calls and I haven't made a cold call, knocked on a door, done any form of marketing other than a few webinars. I met a lady, met a lady named Sharon. She was running networking groups. She was looking to partner with somebody. I partnered with her in August 03. I was selling jewelry at night, building networking groups by day. Been a professional networker again for 17 years. I've had well over 6,000 one-on-one coffee meetings. Uh, I've six, that's 6,000 sitting in coffee shops. I don't even know how many I had last year, 100. 
so maybe 62, 6,300. I've run over 1,500 referral groups. 2008, I got divorced. Now, those of you, I'm looking at the list of you coming in. Thank you very much for getting on, by the way. It's an honor. It's an absolute honor to be able to do this presentation for you, and I hope it helps. In 2008, February 12th, 2008, I know the date because it was two days before Valentine's Day, I got divorced. And if you guys remember what was going on in 2008, the real estate crash. My house went, I live in California, my house went $300,000 under market. Well, you can't sell a house that's under market. I moved out. I did a deed of trust transfer and I handed her the house. I was coaching real estate agents and mortgage lenders all over the world. Guess what happened? When houses go $300,000 under market, there's not a heck of a lot to sell and those of you that were in the business, it was a rough time in 2008. So I got an apartment and my income went from 14,000 a month down to six, but I had to get an apartment and pay $2,000 a month child support. I moved in with a friend of mine, lived with him for six months. Now keep in mind, I'm 41 years old at this time. I'm 52 now, it's 41 at this time. And I'm renting a room and then he moves away because he bought a house. So that's not a Cadillac like the Cadillac. That is the Cadillac that got repossessed. That was my Cadillac. They got taken away. They put it on a flatbed truck. That that was my office. I literally moved in. So it's a converted, those of you that live in the California Bay Area or Pleasanton, uh, that's an old mansion, the bottom floor are restaurants, the top floor are offices. Put my clothes in the in the closets, slept on that futon, showered at the gym every day. I was homeless for seven months. And that was in that was in uh late 2009, early 2010. And then my now wife joined one of my networking groups. She was a software engineer at Lawrence Livermore Lab in the nuclear department, found out about investing in land and got a real estate license. It was helping people invest in land part-time. So I went from living on my couch homeless to meeting Marcella, helping her with her land investing business. So am I a real estate agent? No. Have I trained real estate agents and mortgage lenders? Thousands and thousands and thousands. Have I become a multi-millionaire from real estate? Yes, because my wife is a real estate uh, agent who sells land and I've brought in 80% of the business, which is well over 600 real estate transactions. We've won nine straight years, every award you could win. That's our third trip to Mu'urea, which is uh, next to Tahiti. Those are the overwater bungalows. That's us, um, Santorini on a cruise. We've been all over, all over Europe, nine straight years, getting taken all over the world by the owner of her company. Real quick, this is what she does, and if any of you ever want to talk about this, I'm always looking for referral partners in the land side of my business. In Southern California, there's tremendous growth. Find an area that looks like this, buy a little bit of land, 10 years later, it looks like that. It happens over and over and over in California. It's called land banking. Buying affordable land in a path of growth, in this picture, 50 to 150,000 an acre, 10 years later. 2 million to 7 million per acre. I own land all over Los Angeles County and done quite well. In nine years, we've done well over 650 real estate transactions. Never knocked on a door, never cold called, never bought a lead, never done a door hanger. I teach people how to send me referrals and that's what we're gonna do today for you. And yes, Ashley and you guys, by the way, you can ask me any question, type in the questions box, anything you wanna ask me at any time you ask and I'll do my best to answer it. This is being recorded on a laptop over here on, on that computer back there just to make sure I get a good copy of it. And then it's gonna go, it's gonna go onto my YouTube channel. You're all gonna get a copy. This is a I always go over the Eagle Hat story, though we don't need it for this group. There's a bunch of you on. There's about seven men and 60 or 70 women. And here's the big thing. When I started with my wife, I sat down with the owners of my wife's company he goes i know in your world you're a big deal but in our world of land investing you're not and if you come in here with your 10 gallon ego hat i can't make you rich if you can take the hat off and hang it at the door and listen to what i have to say and take the ego down and just let the information flow into you i can make you rich and he did and there's no way to water that down how, how well we've done in the last nine years but we have we have very successful mentors and I'm hoping to be a mentor for you at least for today. The reason we don't need this is because it's the men that have to drop the ego. The reason why 416 people reached out and it was about 360 women and about 50 men because men think they know it all. Now one thing I can tell you, my name is Rick Silva, top three leading authorities in the world on business networking, but when my wife is around I am not Rick Silva. Hey, aren't you Marcella's husband? That's what I've become. I've become Marcella's husband and I'm fine with that. I let her lead the charge, do all the work. 
I just bring the business in and then I get out of the way and I let the ladies take over. So it's it's just it's completely shocking to me that I'm looking at all of you and there's like there's less than 10 men and seven times the women. It's pretty funny. We have a lead based business or we have a referral based practice. Now they do not do not do not exist in the same sentence. And I'm going to show you how some of the leading experts in your industry put the two words together. There's no such thing as a is a referral based lead. No, it's a leader. It's a referral. We're going to go into the differences now because I, I have to lay a foundation, get a point across to you. A lead based practice, cold calling, door knocking, anything you do on Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, I don't care. Anything you do on the internet is to generate leads, chasing people around. Uh, when you have that, people are asking for a discount. I see the, the commission discount. I can't believe how often you guys get asked that because it get, it shows up a lot in the group. People asking you for discounts, I want 1%. If I don't get this, I won't do that. They're not responsive, they stand you up. They have 10 trillion objections. You all have had clients where it's like a it's like a 200, well, where I live, a, a, a cheap house is 600,000, but it's a cheap, wherever you live, it's a cheap house, and they ask you 9 million questions. And then you'll have a client who's buying the most expensive house you've ever sold, and this is the question they ask. They do this. Here it is. They do this. Where do I sign? They don't ask any questions. So the 80-20 rule is 80% of your money is made by the top 20% of your clients. 80% of your time is wasted by the bottom 20%. When you have a lead-based business, you're fighting an uphill battle. They know show you get tons of objections. You show 10 million homes without a decision. Last last second, hey, I'm going to go with another agent. I just found out so-and-so say, I'm going to go with them. Sorry, see ya. They have no loyalty. This is kind of what I'd like you to, to have. People are calling you on the phone instead of you calling them. They're calling you and saying, hey, my CPA told me to call you. I need to buy a home. My financial planner told me to call you. Uh, my estate planning attorney told me to call you. My best friend told me to call you. That starts to lead to a referral, but ah, that is not a referral yet. It might sound like one, but it's not. I'm going to go into that with you. Referral sources calling you. Hey, uh, I look at the screen. I got all, I got all you ladies here. I got a, a whole bunch of Katie's, Christie's, Lori's. Hey, Lori, I just met with my CPA. I just got a bonus check. I mentioned I might want to buy some rental real estate. He told me you're the real estate agent to talk to. You want to do that or you want to knock on doors? I want people calling you and I'm going to teach you the best I can. Now, keep in mind, it takes about 16 to 21 hours-ish to teach you how to build a referral-based practice. I'm giving you an hour. This is just scratching the surface. Um, no cold calling, no door, door knocking, no lead generating, no chasing people. You're going to get a lot less. You're almost never, ever, ever going to get somebody ask you for your for your commissions. Um, very few objections. You're going to show far less homes. That's for you that work with buyers. And then full commitment. You're the only realtor they're going to talk to. It's a commitment because a trusted advisor told them to call you. We have to have a really good foundation. You want the beautiful house, you got to have a good foundation. Without a good foundation, then our house starts to crumble and then we have a bad foundation. Now this foundation is your business and we want to build a good foundation. Now, doing postcards is planting seeds, okay? But so is networking when you're meeting with your sphere. Now in the networking world, it's called SOI sphere of influence, COI circle of influence, COI center of influence. It's also called a power partner. In the networking world, it should be called a power partner. That's what it's really called. If you're networking with referral partners, power partners, or you're planting, uh, you're, you're, you're mailing postcards, you are planting seeds. We don't know what's going to come from it, but we know if we plant enough, something's going to grow, and then it's going to grow, and then every corn stalk. So each stalk is a person, and then the corn itself are the, the referrals, the leads and referrals. Now, the wording that you all are using, there's not going to be one of you that uses the proper wording because the world's leading real estate coaches teach you to use the wrong wording, but you use it because that's what they taught you. I'm going to teach you the right wording. You might get some buyers and sellers. You're going to get very few referrals, and I'm going to convert your postcards, your mailers, your door hangers to where you're getting 
uh, more referrals and less leads. <clears throat> step one, if you're taking notes, step one to your referral-based practice, step one, uno. You have to have a customer avatar. You have got to know your customer and your client better than they know themselves. That's number one. Part two is you have to have a very good elevator pitch. So at the end, I'll show you where you can watch my video on it if you want to learn how to have a good elevator pitch. That I've talked to about 25 or 26,000 people at least. I'm going to go over this quickly. I made an avatar. I have some very advanced software that asks some very hard-hitting questions. When you answer them, it kicks out your avatar. If you're interested in having an avatar created, I can, I can help you with that. I have the software. I'm going to go quick because we got a lot to cover. We're just scratching the surface of this presentation so far. My avatar's name is Kelly. Kelly is a concerned investor who dreams of becoming a millionaire. Currently, Kelly's focus is on finding a winning, winning investment and finding better and safer investments. Ultimately, Kelly really wants to retire with more and leave a financial legacy. Right this minute, Kelly would be ecstatic if she could stop losing money, prevent fertile loss, find an investment that is easy, understandable, and makes money. Unfortunately, Kelly still needs to figure out how to find a great investment, invest in real estate to create wealth, figure out how to purchase real estate with an old 401k or IRA. To digress for one second, Land is the easiest thing in the world to buy with a 401k, and of the 600 and maybe 80 transactions we've done to this point, about 550 of them are with old 401ks and IRAs. Kelly's also really frustrated by the fact her 401k only goes up when she puts money into it, or 401k is a 201k. She's tired of tenants, toilets, termites, troubles, and taxes. Plus, she still feels she needs to get the answers to these questions before she can move forward. How do I find a great investment that doesn't go down when the wind blows? Where should I put my money when I sell my investment property? 1031. Where can I find an investment that doesn't stress me out? Kelly's also still hung up on the idea she, she, uh, th this investment doesn't generate cash flow, and that's for me in land. Generating wealth takes time, and she needs to understand what long-term means. She thinks she needs a lot of money to invest in land or real estate. In fact, she feels like volatile markets actually don't want her to succeed with finding a winning investment or finding better and safer investments. When all is said and done, she wants to reach financial freedom, have a worry-free investment, have financial peace of mind. To help Kelly, I would invite her to check out one of my webinars, blah, blah, blah. I promise to show her how to invest like the wealthy do. <clears throat> That's one of my many avatars. I have an avatar that I use for my networking, coaching side of my business. That one happened to be for what we're looking for regarding our land investing business. Now we're gonna get into some good stuff here. You are gonna see some of your postcards, though. those of you that sent postcards, after I show you uh, a, a different example. So using the word you and your, in a networking environment. So in a networking environment, using the words you and your is offensive. So let me explain. If I come up to you and I say, hey, Heather, uh, I'm looking over there because that's what the names are. Hey, Heather, uh, I, I'd like to hear more about your real estate business. Then you go, well, here's what I can do for you. I can do this. I can help you find this. What are you looking for? You, 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 you. That's in a sales conversation. When you're in a networking conversation, try not to ever use you and your if it's pertaining to selling to them. So let me explain. Actually, let me go to the next one because this slide, the number one complaint of people who, who used to go to networking events and don't anymore is every time I go there, somebody tries to sell me their stuff. Hey, have you tried? Every single one of you has been approached. I have nothing bad to say about network marketing. I've coached thousands of them. Uh, I almost retired for one company before it went under. Uh, Amway, Mary Kay, uh, there used to be Monavi. Uh, there, there's a million companies and there's CBD companies. I can't believe I can't remember the names of them. New Skin. There's all kinds of them. They're great companies. But what they teach is what they teach the puke method. If you can puke on them, sell them your stuff. And most real estate agents have been taught the puke method. So you've all gone networking somewhere and you go, oh my God. So somebody, hey, do you have kids? Have you thought about what would happen to them if something happened to you? What am I trying to sell you? Life insurance. And then the next time you go to a networking event and you see that guy, you're gonna run because he's gonna try to sell you his stuff again. Um, hey, have you ever thought about using a blah, blah, blah? Have you ever thought about, have you ever thought, have you ever thought about using CBD? Oh my God, he's gonna try to sell me CBD. Every one of you from Amber down to, let's see, let's have fun. From Adam at the top. Hey, Adam, good to see you. I know Adam. 
down to Whitney. I got a whole bunch of you watching this. Every one of you, somebody's tried to pitch you. Using the words you and your is a direct pitch, and a lot of people get offensive, offended by that. I'm going to show you the wording that you should use, and that's how we're going to finish off this webinar. Now, everybody wants to help you. Everybody. Nice to see you, Adam. Everybody wants to help you. Nobody wants to be sold to. So last year, COVID hits. And guess what happens? Here they come. This is a direct, I'm going to show you three or four direct messages to me on Facebook. And I want you to read this and go, uh-oh. Because I know you're going to be like, uh-oh. Hey, Rick, I came across your profile and see you're in the real estate and coaching business. With all this going on, we have a lot of great success helping people pivot financially. Are you keeping your options open to making money? Go like this. No! Now, had that person asked me if I knew people who were interested in making more money, I might have sent him some names. But are you keeping your options? Nope. Click done on delete because he directly pitched me. And I want you to understand that your postcards, every one of you that sent me postcards is a direct pitch. And not everybody wants to be pitched. I'm going to, again, show you the wording to fix that. Somebody was on Facebook, say, hey, just tell me how many cups of coffee you drink. Boy, did I get sucked into that one. I put four cups a day. <clears throat> this was the instant message in my Facebook box. You really need this in your life. Uh, you need this in your life. Thanks for your vote on my poll. The skinny blue black, black coffee, blah, blah, blah. If you're intermittent fasting, living a keto lifestyle, blah, 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 caffeine, carbs, it's low sugar, blah, blah, blah. For $20, you get a three-day sample pack. Uh, just like here, would you like to go ahead and snag the sample pack? Yikes! So you know it's direct sales and it's network marketing. This person is, hey, they had the guts to do the reach out, but if I ever see a message from them again, I'm going to automatically delete it. I don't want to be the person people run from. So uh, they should have been asking me for people I know who uh, need to burn fat to boost brain function. Um, so. Let me show you guys something so you can understand how this affected me. See the blood sugar surge and it talks about burning fat. So I'm going to stand up real quick. This is not to do anything else than to, you guys have never met me before. Six years ago, diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. I weighed 202 pounds. I went on a hike with my wife. I, I came as close to passing out and having a diabetic coma stroke. You could have my uh, glucose was over 450. My A1C was like 9.6. I was any day from dying. I didn't know I had it. I went on a special diet. I completely cured type 2 diabetes. I never went on medication for it. But let's say you, let's say you're overweight. Do you want somebody sending you an email about losing weight? It can be offensive. Um, it's offensive to me because I don't need to lose weight. Uh, and I, I don't do blood sugar surges. I watch it very closely. So it just was like, man, that's a bad approach. Rick, I was looking at your profile. I see you're in real estate. I'm an entrepreneur and my I'm already I'm already like I, I read this and kept it because this is what I teach, but you guys would read this and you're already checking out. I'm an entrepreneur and my company, we love working with smart professional people. Now let's pause there. This is a script that I teach and this is unbelievable. This is like the worst approach and the best approach in one. It's horrible, but it's so good. We love working with smart professional people. He gave me a compliment. If you can give the people you're talking to a compliment while you're teaching them how to send you referrals, you are A1. Rick, I was looking at your profile. I see your interest real. I'm an entrepreneur. Company we work with, smart people. Quick question. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Do you keep your options open in terms of making money outside what you're currently doing as a real estate profession? <clears throat> So you guys are here for multiple reasons because you want to work on your wording for your current postcard. You, a lot of you don't even have a postcard, which is good. You don't need it. You don't need door hangers. I can teach you how to build a referral-based practice so you don't use that. But if you do it and you like it and it gets you business, keep doing it. But we're in real estate, everybody. My wife's in real estate. I'm a real estate coach. You guys are in real estate. 
we are in the highest paid, singularly, nothing higher paid, nothing, except big time internet marketers. There's nothing by the hour that pays more than being a real estate agent. Now, if you're not making the money you'd like, I'm sorry. I'll do everything I can to help you make all the money you've ever dreamed of making. But for a guy to reach out to a real estate professional, and we work with smart people, we're making money outside of what you're doing in the highest paid industry on the planet. So I want to show you this. This is not to brag. I just want you to understand if you haven't seen a check like this, I made 64 sales last year. They all weren't this big, but I made $400,000 more in 2020 during COVID than I made the year before because I have a network built and I want to show you guys how to do that. So I get that. Uh, do you, are you looking to pivot, make money outside of what you're doing? And I'm like, um, I did 64 sales last year. That's a commission check I took. I walked into the bank with. No, I'm not looking to pivot. Now, had this person, this person, this person asked me if I knew people who were looking for opportunities because their job got affected in COVID, I would have been very open to talking to them. But when you ask me if I'm, cur if I'm personally currently looking to do something else, no. So they never got any names out of me. So when you do a direct sales approach, you're going to get a yes or a no. I want you to understand all of your postcards are going to get a yes or a no. That's it. Nothing else. Had they asked me if I know other people, then we might get some names. So we're going to get a yes or no. We're going to get some names. Having said that, I got to teach you the proper wording because what the big time coaches are teaching you is bad, bad, bad. <clears throat> this is a lead is a name and a number. Hey, um, hey, uh, Lori, I got to choose a different. I think I did Lori. Like, hey, Rose, um, uh, my, I think my sister wants to buy a home. And then you go, oh, good, give me your name and you call her. You're cold calling a lead. Don't do that. Stop. When the person says, hey, I think my sister wants to buy a home, you make them fill this out. I want their name. Now, guys, what I'm giving you, I've given this maybe in three presentations in 17 years. This is the holy grail of your referral-based practice. I'm giving it to you for free. And 99% of you won't use it and won't listen to what I'm saying, but I hope you do. A lead is a name and a number and you call them. A referral is you get a prospect pro profile filled out. Then you go to TikTok, you go to LinkedIn, and you go to Facebook, and you learn everything you can about that person with a filled out form. Name, company, name, what kind of work did they do? Where they live? Do they have a website? Um, what city do they work in? Uh, what have you told them about me? What made you think? Well, well, I was talking to her, and she said she had another baby on the way, and she thinks she might need a bigger home. Awesome. So when I talk to her, I'm going to be talking to her about uh, upsizing. But th this is the absolute minimum, by the way. This is the absolute minimum that you want to know about someone. So when you get, so when you mail out a postcard and somebody contacts you, you have no time to do recon. If somebody says, hey, I think my sister wants, a, wants to buy a home, which is on this screen, and you call them on the phone, you're calling leads, you're cold calling. That is not what a professional business person does. A professional business person works with people, that's my opinion, ready to go. Chasing leads is not what I hope you guys are doing. You get all of this filled out, then you do research, and then you plan the approach. And I could teach you all of that scripting, but you plan an approach. A lead is a name and number. Hey, I saw your ad. Hey, I saw your Facebook ad. A referral comes from their brother or sister. You get a prospect profile or the CPA or their financial advisor or their mortgage lender or whoever. Um, you get the form completely filled out. You do all kinds of research on them. And then you do the approach. Now, let's talk about these guys who've been teaching you the wrong wording. You may have seen some of these faces before, especially in the top right-hand corner. The king of teaching you to door knock. The two best networking coaches on the planet are Donna Fisher and Bill Cates. That's Donna Fisher right there. That's Bill Cates. By far, hands down, there's not even a question, that's the two best referral coaches in the world. The third best, look at your screen. Me. That's my opinion. Uh, Bob Berg is a very good referral coach. 
Um, Buffini's obviously a real estate coach. And then we have real estate coach, real estate coach, mortgage referral guy, and real estate coach. Joe up in the upper left-hand corner has been teaching referral generation for the last uh, 37 years. I've purchased every course for every person on this screen. I've spent tens of thousands of dollars in um, father and son, third grade at best. Joe Stump, seventh grade. I'm going to take you to college today. But I want to show you what they teach, which is 1,000 million trillion percent, not what I would do if you want referrals. The highest company you could pay us, now this is in all your postcards, and this is what you've been taught by the real estate coaches. Here's the difference. I'm a referral coach, 17 years teaching referrals only. Those guys look at networking as like 2% of what they teach, and it's not good, I'm sorry to say. The highest compliment you could pay is the referral of a friend or a relative. The best compliment you can give is a referral. Your referrals are our greatest compliment. Thank you for the compliment. May we have the referrals of your friends and family members. How, how desperate can you look? Hey, knock on the door. When the person opens up, hey, my name is Rick Silva, local real estate agent. You or anybody you know looking to buy or sell a home in the next 60 to 90 days, that's what everybody teaches. The guy that teaches Ricky, that teaches circle prospecting, it's people don't want to hear you and your. It's offensive. You're not going to build it. You might get some, you might, you're going to make some sales. Obviously, these guys wouldn't be teaching. You're going to make sales. You're also going to be chasing leads around. And I want people who are dying, dying to do business with you. And you can't do that on a lead. It's a referral. <clears throat> so here's what some of the, the big dogs teach you. Our done-for-you systems and tools help you bring in more new quality referrals. Remember, marketing is for leads. But Joe put, this is Joe Stumpf, the world's leading authority, quote-unquote, on teaching you this stuff. Done-for-you systems bring in more new quality referrals. And the next sentence, no more throwing away money on dead, cold purchase leads and lists. Build systems, send you quality referred leads. Now. This is the world's leading authority on, on referrals, using referral here and using lead here. Marketing does not generate referrals. It generates leads. 80% of what Joe teaches is going to help you build a lead-based business, not a referral-based practice. The, lead, the world's leading authority doesn't even know there's been a lead and a referral, and he's teaching. It's, it's, it's sick. I bought all, everybody, all of these guys' courses and ripped them apart, and it's wow wow um hey mr and mrs seller thank you so much for listening i have two goals while working with first is to sell your home as quickly as possible second is to give you such great service that you automatically refer me to anyone you know who wants to buy or sell so you're asking for leads and the word anyone or anybody is going to get you almost nothing and I'll, I'll i'm gonna again i'm gonna go into great detail on what to say before i let you know before I let you go, who else do you know that might need my services? And that's getting leads. That's not going to get you referrals. And that's actually taught by this guy who's the biggest name in the business other than this guy. He's teaching this. It's bad. I'm sorry. It's bad. At same, same kind of thing. You just sold the home. As you know, my business is based on referrals. You've probably been involved in lots of conversations. Before I let you go, you know anybody else who maybe may need my services? That's third grade. I'm sorry, you guys, I hope you didn't pay these guys a lot of money for this training. They are unbelievable real estate coaches. Their business development training, yikes. Um, this, is from, this is from his father, and I'm only going to go to, the, to this part. These people know other people. You, Jennifer, and Monique, and Nicole, and Tanya, and Troy, and Leslie, and Linda, you are a professional real estate agent. You have to ask for the business. They're not going to come and give it to you. Let me let me back up so I don't fall over. Yes, they are. I have never in my life ever. 680 sales. I have never, ever asked for a sale ever in my life. I'll go get my wife if you don't believe me. You can Marcella Silva. Look her up. If you have a referral and you have a good presentation. They're going to be begging you, begging you. If your business is based on referrals, people are going to be begging to hire you as the only real estate agent in town. I promise you, 
hand to God, people will chase you if you have a referral-based practice. This sentence, I found this two days ago. I'm like, the dude's been teaching real estate for 50 years. You're a professional realist. You have to ask for the business. I'm going to ask you guys a question. People look up to heart surgeons, and they look up. Maybe they look up to um, attorneys. I have never seen a doctor ask me for business. You walk into an attorney's office, and he's interviewing you, and then he puts a piece of paper in front of you and says, "Sign here." You're going to the attorney for business. I've never seen these high-end people who are respected calling people on the phone. Will you hire me? Will you hire me? Will you hire me? Do you need attorney? If an attorney calls someone on the phone, by the way, they lose their license and they can be disbarred. You have to call the attorney. Attorneys cannot do outreach other than very specific Yellow Pages ads. But these supposed high-paying, keep in mind, real estate, were the highest-paid professionals in the world, more than doctors, more than surgeons, more than attorneys. They don't ask for business. Why are we as real estate agents walking down the street and knocking on a door, embarrassing, desperation? You're doing it. It's not your fault. You're doing it because these coaches are telling you it's a great way. Let me tell you why they're telling you this is a great way, because they don't know how to network. That's why. Please try to build a referral-based practice where people are calling you on the phone and you're not asking for business. So I completely disagree. You're a professional real estate agent, and you should have people chasing you to hire you. 17 years I've wanted to say that, and you guys got me on a webinar to say what I've been holding in my entire career, that you guys have been taught the wrong stuff. <clears throat> we'll walk you through every step of the way, the way on a live coaching call, so then in the end, you can feel comfortable asking for referrals, guys and gals, mostly gals. You ask for leads. This is word for word scripting from Buffini and all those other guys. You ask for leads, you earn referrals, and you educate people to send you referrals. Personalized referral generating postcards does not exist. They're lead generating postcards. This is from Joe also. Let's go into the reticular activating system. It's called the RAS. We're going to go a little space agey here if you guys believe in the law of attraction. This is going to be right down your aisle. All right. We're going to go deep. Now, what I'm, let, let me, let's everybody take a deep breath. Go with me. I know I'm going fast. We're going to ratchet it down. We only have about 30 slides left. We've gone, believe it or not, 75 slides deep. The reticular activating system. Learn this. Guys. Uh, I went to Heald College, which is in California. I have an electrical engineering degree. I was a 2.5 in high school, 3.0 in college, 10,000 hours of recordings in my car, and I've read over 700 books. I educated myself. I, I came from my dad never made more than 50 grand in a year. I make that every other week. Now, education. This, what I'm going to show you, I don't care if you live in Oklahoma, New York City, Florida, Washington, or California. I don't care if the houses are 20 grand. My house is 2,400 square feet. It's 1.4 million. I live in California. It's freaking expensive, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a foot. And 40 miles away in Santa Clara, it's $1,200 a foot. Now, where you live, maybe it's $10 a foot. I don't know. But what I'm going to show you right now, I don't care where you live, will make you a millionaire if you get this. The reticular activating system is in your brain stem. Everybody has it. Now, I'm actually going to do this in reverse. I'm going to go to this slide first. Have you ever, no, the answer is yes. I already know the answer. You thought of a recipe. You thought of starting your tomatoes. I just started my tomato plants. You thought about a, a, a Tesla or you thought about a gray BMW. You thought about something. Every time you open up the internet, it's in front of you. Every magazine you pick up, you turn to the page. I was just thinking about that. You thought about a certain car. You go outside. You see 40 of them on the freeway. And every one of you are going, yep, 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 yep. You thought of something, and then it has shown up. That is the law of attraction through your reticular activating system, which is in your brainstem. 
You talk to any chiropractor. If you were married to a chiropractor, if you know a chiropractor, ask them about the reticular activating. Oh, yeah, it's the RAS. Oh, yeah, you know about the RAS? The RAS is in the brain. How would you hear about the RAS? From some weird networking guy started talking about this crazy, dumb thing in my brain. He's some weird guy. Yes, I am weird, but I'm going to teach you to get rich. So the reticular activating system helps you uh, resonate with something. Now, I'm going to say this multiple times. You... Nicole and Leslie and Julie and Heather and everybody else and Whitney, you need to teach other people how to find you referrals by firing their reticular activating system. Let's repeat. Your job as a real estate professional is to teach power partners and clients how to find and send you referrals by programming their reticular activating system. Rick, how do you do that? It's coming. But I'm going to go a little deeper. I want you to think back, if you're old enough, some of you youngsters out there, an AM, FM radio. Now, this is the antenna to the AM, FM radio right there. Okay? Now, if I tune a radio or a satellite, if I tune the satellite or tune a radio to country music, then this resonates at a frequency that grabs country music out of the air, goes in here, and comes out the speakers, okay? Now, I turn the knob a little bit. I turn the frequency a little bit. And now I got the Beatles. It found the Beatles station, and the Beatles go in here and come out the speaker. <clears throat> what I'm getting at is this antenna on the radio, think of this as an antenna on the radio, is resonating at a certain vibration and a certain frequency to bring in the Beatles or country music or heavy metal or opera or whatever. It can only do one thing. If you put it on uh, FM 98.3, it's only going to be 98.3. Now, this antenna in the radio, look at your screen. The reticular activating system is the antenna in your brain that can only receive and pick up one thing at a time. You can only think one thought at a time, but it's a vibrational function that you need. It, 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 can, it can see multiple things, but it gets confused. We want it to see one thing. So let's go a little deeper. If you get and understand that it has to be a singular focus, singular focus, it cannot be spread out, which means using the words anyone or anybody will not fire the reticular activating system. So those of you that sent me your postcards, Oh, those of you that go in a networking group, hey, everybody, my name, is, my name is Rick Silver, real estate agent. Good referral for me. Anybody looking to buy or sell? Everybody needs a home. Then that would be the equivalent of taking the radio station and turning the knob. You'll never get a radio station. It has to be a singular focus to fire the speakers and the radio. Well, it has to be a singular focus to fire the reticular activating system and the brainstem. All right. Now, everybody look at the screen and yell out wherever you're sitting, what is that? And you're all wrong. It is not an acorn. It's a wood carving of an acorn. I tricked you, but it was the best picture of an acorn I could find, even though it is a wood, wood carving. Now, when you cut the acorn open, is there an oak tree inside of it? I'm giving you a chance to think about it. And the answer is no. When you, when you cut up on an acorn, what's inside of it is potential energy vibrating at a certain frequency. Let's go back to the reticular activating system and to the antenna vibrating at a specific frequency for success. This is vibrating at a, a very specific frequency. Now, let me ask you guys a question. This is what it's going to become, by the way, a giant oak tree. But we're going to go back and we're going to slow down because if you get this, riches. If you don't, keep following those other coaches. And however successful you are, multiply your income by three to five when you stop saying you and your and you do what I'm going to teach you. So if, if the, you plant this seed in the ground and one day this seed goes, I want to become an oak tree. And then four days later it says, ah, I think I want to become a lemon tree. And then two days, now nah, I want to become a rose bush. No, I want to become basil. Will it ever grow? There's zero chance. 
So that oak tree sets itself in the, that, that, sorry, that nut sets itself in the ground. And it says, I'm going to become an oak tree. I'm going to become an oak tree. I want you to imagine the oak tree as your very, very successful. Hey, if you, if you've never made a sale in real estate, I don't know where you are. I've been, in, I've been in networking for 17 years. I've been in real estate for nine. So for me, you know, making millions of dollars. It's because I have this unique skill that I'm trying to give you. But this tree for you could be one sale. That's great. Awesome. I hope I can help you do that. This tree can be uh, a sale a week. It could be 10 sales a month. I don't know where you are. There's a number of you, I'm sure, are much more successful, successful than I am. If you incorporate this, oh, my God, where you're going to go. That nut wants to become that tree. Now, inside of it, it's vibrating at an exact frequency now if what's in the water that creates a lemon tree or a rose bush or a weed is repelled from that seed but what's in that water that's vibrating at the same frequency just like the antenna sucks in the music just like you're going to teach people's reticular activating system to suck in referrals for you if that acorn is vibrating at whatever in the water that's at the same frequency, then the water flies into the seed. What's in the soil that creates tomatoes is repelled, but what's in the soil that creates an oak tree is attracted. And what comes from the sun that creates an oak tree is attracted, and it flies into the seed, and it flies into the seed. And then that's your, that's your first sale, that's your 10,000th sale, that's your next sale, that's you... Uh, just learning this one concept, changing your wording and putting your kids through college, buying your Bentley, buying your fifth home. I own nine parcels. I went from, you guys saw I was homeless. I own nine parcels of land in Los Angeles County on over 1.9 million square feet of land uh, valued at multi, multi, multi millions of dollars. And I was homeless uh, uh, in August of 11. How long ago was that? If it's April of 2021, from that to, to to this, with this. Okay, let's go. All right, guys, this is the home stretch. Thank you very much for staying on. I wanted to teach you how the mind works and the indirect sales approach and the difference between a lead and a referral and all of this. Now, I emailed 416 of you, 214 or 215 registered for the webinar. And I got like five postcards. So guess what? You guys are getting spotlighted. Before I show this, if your name and company name and your contact information, then there's a chance you're going to become famous. I want to make very clear that 90% 90, 90 of this can be greatly, greatly improved. One of you sent me something that is so good. With one tweak, it would be beyond good. But I don't want any of you. I mean, <clears throat> this is where, let's take a deep breath. I don't want any of you to be offended. It's not your fault. You hired a marketing company or you hired one of those big time postcard mailer companies or you hired one of those coaches who know almost zero about getting referrals and networking. Again, I've been studying this singular topic for 17 and a half years. So please don't be offended when I show you how you could improve it. Somebody taught you the wrong stuff. If you think you might be interested in selling, check out my free market evaluation. Now, if you guys remember, let's go back here real quick because I want to refresh your memory that the use of you and yours is offensive to most people. And then people were saying, you and you are trying to pitch me their stuff, trying to pitch me their stuff, and then I want to be pitched. And I don't want you to pitch people so every time they see a postcard from you, they tear it up. Or when they see you walking down the street, or they see you in a networking event, oh, here comes that agent going to try to sell me a house again. If you think you might be interested in selling, can be improved. I'm going to work on that shortly. Thank you, Tegan. Tegan, are you on? Tegan is not on right now. Uh-oh, but she sent this to me. Valentine's, if you or someone you know is looking to sell, please reach out to me. 
the use of the words you and your and someone or so you and your let's improve it and then the word someone does not does not fire the reticular activating system there's only one way to fire it and we're going to get to it here's another one monique hey monique is on she's smiling right now i'm smiling back hi monique thinking of buying instead with low interest rates is a great time to buy a home let's chat about your needs this is pretty good monique i'm gonna i'm gonna help you add uh maybe we make this font a little smaller maybe we move these dots up and i'm gonna have you put a couple sentences in there gonna change your life but it needs to be on all your marketing not just a postcard it's got to be on your website this is for all of you website business cards mailers uh emails put it in your your email signature file I got tons of videos and trainings on on all this stuff. I just I can't teach you everything in in this. We're 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 54 minutes in, I'm going as fast as I can. Lisa, 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 Lisa Bender, Lisa, and it's crazy because you work for Windermere and you're in um I can't I don't know what state you're in. I'm sorry. You could type in a chat box if you want, Lisa, and you're gonna get known to all these people that are on. I live in Windermere in San Ramon, California. It's a um, it's a big community of uh i'm i'm probably the only person who doesn't work for google or facebook or yahoo um, or amazon in my neighborhood they're all software engineers it's windermere and san ramon so lisa here we go these are now very good uh, it's a little bit some some of you guys your postcards are a little bit heady when you talk about time on market and stuff i don't think too many clients lisa is in seattle <clears throat> not a lot of clients understand time on market i personally would never put that in a postcard but that's just me but you gave some information. Um, there are still more buyer, buyers ready to purchase than our homes. Very good. There are still more buyers ready to purchase than our homes. That's tickling the reticular activating system. If it's crossed your mind, so there's the worst, the, the the use of you and your, if it's crossed your mind that you would like to know what your home's potential market value is, please call or text me. It's very good, Lisa. I just want to change this sentence for you. Oh, Tegan, this is, was Tegan the last one that wasn't on? Yes, it was. Tegan's missing on two shots here. My knowledge of your neighborhood gets you the best price. I would, I personally, because this is a direct pitch, I personally would be putting what I'm about to teach you here. Srini. I don't see Srini on. You guys are fired. You sent me your postcards and didn't get on. You're fired. <clears throat> We see a great opportunity in the coming months for sellers. Inventory is low, accelerates home values, interest in and rates are extremely low, giving buyers more buying power. This creates the perfect storm for sellers. Man, that sentence right there. Don't change a word, baby. If you, uh-oh, been thinking about moving, let's talk. This sentence, change it. By the way, uh, everybody, anytime you want, I want you to type in the questions box. If you have any questions, if you want to save them till the end, I'll stay on after the presentation, answer your questions if you like. This is the backside of Sweeney's, Sweeney's, if I'm not saying, oh, this is Julie. Julie, sorry. Julie's yelling at me. Julie Belcher. Julie's on. Julie, hug. Hello. Thanks for sending this. My name is Julie. Hi, Julie. I'm a realtor with Vivo Realty. Awesome. I have a buyer looking for this specific area. Julie, this is, hug yourself. This is so good. This is beyond good. This is the best I've ever seen. except we're going to make it even better and wondered if you may be thinking of selling julie i'm going to change this sentence and your life's going to change but this don't change a word i got my literally my arms have goosebumps on them right now you could not be more specific good golly miss molly um this i almost don't want you to change it. it's so damn good because you are, you talk about, now it's still a lead, but you talk about something that is unbelievably qualified. Because you're basically saying, dude, don't call me about your house for sale if you don't have three to four bedrooms. Unbelievable. I still would change the you and your, because you want to get the person who's reading this thinking about other people. And we're going to get there because guess what? 
here's what's at underneath that. Oh, wait, there's more. Julie, if you or one of your neighbors are interested in selling, very good, except um, this is not specific enough. This is the time when you can use you. When you kick it in with, do you know anyone? But we don't want to say, do you know anyone? But you have to use the word you when I'm talking to you. But that's not a direct pitch. That's pretty good. We're going to make it very good. Now, I understand you guys didn't pay any money to be here. This is free. I spent about eight hours typing 400 of you first name, last name, email address, launching this, building the registration page, putting this presentation together slide by slide by slide. Okay. That was the equity that I'm putting in to help you. Um, I'm asking you to put in this, the same effort in return by just listen. And I should have said that an hour ago, but we're going to get into what to say. And it may not even seem like a big deal to you, but, but it's a big deal. We're going to talk about what to say. We have got to fire the reticular activating system. We have to fire the reticular activating system in the brainstem or you're not going to get referrals. You're going to get, hey, my sister's thinking about buying. Now, when you call the person's sister, hey, you might make the sale. But you also might get, what? Who told you that? My brother told you to call me? I told him, that's, he's a moron. I'm thinking about maybe selling in five years after my last. I don't need to buy a home click. You called on a lead and you got hammered on. Um, so, Heather, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, anything you guys want to say, any comments you want to make, type it in. Heather, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at that. And I'm gonna address it here in a little bit. But using the word anyone or anybody does not fire the reticular activating system. So if you say, hey, do you know anybody looking to buy or sell a home? Do you know anybody looking to sell a home? Are, are you looking to buy or sell? And guys, I'm sorry if you see me rubbing my eyes. The allergies are just, I'm getting, I'm getting creamed. So I'm sorry. I'm going to have you listen to two elevator pitches that have created, when I tell you millions, millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of sales in the last nine years. I have software that helps you create the avatar. I have a video that you can watch to help you craft your elevator pitch. I'll show you where to get it at the end. And then if you want me to critique it for you, and send you a video of me critiquing your elevator pitch and put it on my YouTube channel. It's only 99 bucks, and I'll show you the link if you want me to actually literally, you watch a video, you type it up, send it to me, I'll critique it and build it for you, and videotape myself critiquing it and put it on my Facebook page if you want, on my YouTube channel, I'll do it. I'll show you it then. I'm now gonna read to you word for word my elevator pitch, and then I'm gonna read to you my wife's elevator pitch. And then we're going to go a little deeper. But this, pieces of this is what needs to be in your website, your signature file in your, let's just slow down. Another deep breath. Your signature file should not say um, Le Leslie Shields, real estate agent, the greatest compliment you could ever give me is a, is a referral to a friend or family member. Yikes. But that's what those guys teach you to do. You're doing it because you learn something that you learn. It's, it's okay. It's better than nothing. It's third grade. I'm trying to get you guys graduating from high school into college today. <clears throat> Here's one of my many. So I, I teach networking and I do land banking. So it depends on the mode I'm in and who I'm talking to. But this is basically it. Hey, everybody. My name is Rick Silva with One Referral Away. I'm a referral coach and consultant for real estate professionals and sales professionals. When hiring me, I teach my clients how to network properly so they don't have to cold call. This, result in, this results in more time spent serving their clients and less time doing business development and dealing with rejection. Nobody likes to be rejected. A perfect referral for me would be when you do have to say you to set up the sentence. When you hear an insurance agent, a realtor, a financial planner or a mortgage lender say any of the following. I get leads, but they're so hard to close. I wish I had more referrals. My real estate business is floundering. I see all kinds of people making money, but I'm not. I need more clients. If you've heard a real estate agent 
a mortgage lender, an insurance agent, or a chiropractor, or a financial planner say anything like that, I would love an introduction. Now, <clears throat> that's an elevator pitch for when I'm in uh, when I'm in coach mode, which I'm basically in right now. I'm now going to read to you my wife's because my wife helps people invest in land. She has a real estate license, but we only do land. So this is not going to be the exact wording you're going to use, but I'm going to go a little deeper on what you should be using. This is my wife's. <clears throat> Let's do this. That's her. We're right there. And I'll show you the back in a second. Here we go. Hello, my name is Marcella Silva, and I'm a land banker who specializes in helping individuals with $25,000 to $1 million in cash or old 401ks and IRAs and 1031 exchanges diversify into pre-developed land and high-growth areas. General Douglas, Douglas MacArthur describes it best when he says all a man has to do to get rich in America is find out where people are going, get there first, buy land and wait. A perfect referral for me would be when you hear a friend, family member, or a client, and it also should say, or a mortgage lender who has a client who says, I'm sick of tenants, toilets, termites, troubles, and taxes. I'm never going to be able to save enough money to retire. The only way my 401k or IRA goes up is when I put money into it. I need to do a 1031 exchange. I'm afraid to look at my 401k or IRA statement. That would be a great referral for me. So yeah, I just I just did Stephanie. Uh, in fact, I've done that a few times for you already. So Stephanie is saying, could you please tell us what to use instead of you and your um, be specific? But the you and your is not the important part. You and your is not the most important part of this. So this is one right here where, you, where you're specific in setting it up. And then this is setting it up. The quotes are the most important part, okay? Thank you, Stephanie. So I wanna show you this. I did a video on, uh, on my YouTube channel, One Referral Away, and it says how I made a million dollars with my business cards. This line right here, I've made well over a million dollars with just this one sentence. I need to do a 1031 exchange. My wife did a, a presentation and she handed out her business card and I want you to take a look at this. So here's the front of the card right there. Here's the back. Remember I said you want to put the quotes everywhere. So that's the back of her business card. So it should be on your business card, your signature file, uh, all your marketing materials, your mailers, everything. So the word for word quotes that match what you want in your world. So here's some of the things that you could put. So this is your answer, Stephanie. And the reason why I did this is because I wanted you guys to understand the whole foundation of networking and not just spend two minutes on this and not teach you guys anything. You could say things like, I need your help. Have you heard a friend, family member, or client say any of the following? You could put, have you heard a first-time home buyer? You could put, have you heard an empty nester? It's whatever you are looking for. You have to think about your client, and the way you get that information is doing the customer avatar. These are the types of things you're gonna put on your postcards and your mailers. I need to sell my home. So what you could put in there is, are you, or have you heard a friend or family member say, we're thinking about selling our home. We're empty nesters, we need to downsize. We have kid number two on the way. I guess it's time for a larger home. I wonder if it's a good time to buy. I wonder if it's a good time to sell. I'd like to invest in real estate. I wonder what my home is worth. I need to do a 1031 exchange. So let's go back and talk about, and I told you guys it wasn't a magic pill, but it is, because word for word quotes are the only way to fire the reticular activating system. So the indirect sales approach are these. That one's decent if, if somewhere you who you know, but you want to put word for word quotes here. So when we look at this, <clears throat> you're looking for a seller in this case. So what I would put here, I don't even like to use you, but have you heard one of your neighbors or a friend or family member say, I wonder what my home is worth. 
uh, we're thinking about selling. I need to sell my home. I got a new job. I'm relocating. That's what you'd put here. So this one, thinking of buying, thinking of uh, thinking of buying instead. It's a great time to buy a home. So this is a postcard for sellers. This is a post on buyers. So <clears throat> uh, actually, it's both. This one's looking. So you could have a quote here that says, "Have you or a friend or a neighbor said?" I need to sell my house. I'm thinking about selling my home. I wonder what my home is worth. That's what you'd put to cover this part. Selling would be, selling would be, uh, kid number, kid number two is on the way. We need a larger home. Uh, we're, we're, we're relocating. So just figure out the quote that exactly matches your client's needs. And I can't, like, I don't know what type you're looking for. I can just look at this and go, thinking of buying? I've been renting for a long, have you heard a friend, family member say, I've been renting for a long time. I wonder if it's time to buy. I got a bonus check. I'm thinking about buying a home. I've been renting for a long time. Man, my rent keeps going up. Maybe I should just buy a home. That's what you're going to put here. <clears throat> There's a lot more homes. If it crossed your mind that you'd like to look and know what your home's potential value is, you could put, have you heard a friend, family member, or neighbor say, I wonder what my home is worth. It's word for word quotes. We've been thinking a long time, you know, my last kid just moved out. I think we want to downsize. Uh, I got a new job, I'm being relocated. That's what you'd put here, Lisa, word for word quotes. And you'll get the recording and fast forward an hour and you'll get right to it. Um, my knowledge of your neighborhood gets you the best price. Interested question mark, still would be here. Have you heard a neighbor or yourself think or say, I wonder what my house is worth? Been thinking for a long time about selling and just moving, moving out of here. Put word for word quotes that you think your client would say. And the where you're going to get that is from your avatar. When you really know your client, then you know the compliance, the, the complaints the clients make. Okay. If you've been thinking about a move, if you've heard a friend or family member say, uh, we need to move, we can't afford this area, we're going to buy, we're, we're thinking about buying a bigger home. Kid number three is on the way, we need a bigger home. Kid, kid, kid the la my youngest kid just moved out, we want to downsize it, but word for word quotes, just like this. Figure out what your client is looking for, buying or selling, and then you put the word for word quotes in here. So here again, looking at this specific area, I wondered if, if, if you or you've heard a friend or family member say, need to downsize, upsize. I've been giving you the quotes now for the last 10 minutes. Um, Christy says, do you only choose one or two to put your signature, et cetera? Um, two to four, two to four. You could put more. I put two to four. So Christy asked how many quotes in the postcards, the marketing mailers, um, your signature fire in your email. I put two to four word for word quotes. Hopefully you've seen so many, you already know which ones to use, but think about your client, what they need, and just put a couple word for word quotes. This one, if if one of your neighbors are interested in selling in the future, please give me a call. If you've heard a friend or family member saying we're thinking about relocating. We're thinking about downsizing. We're thinking about upsizing. Uh, we're getting married. <clears throat> we both own homes. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna sell them and we're gonna get a bigger home. That's the stuff that you put here instead of this. Okay. Now, whew, thank you very much for bearing with me. I didn't want to just hand you the fish. I wanted to teach you how to do this. If some of you are interested in finding out how to get the avatar training, elevator pitch training, or if you want to hear about uh, my big networking course, I'm going to go five minutes max and show it to you. If you want to leave and not hear about it, thank you very much for watching. If you want to at least see how I can help you further, stick around for five more minutes. This is Cynthia Stevenson, testimonial Rick Silva's of professional and his direct button-down approach is concise, efficient, and effective. 
I was able to learn new speaking skills in a very short period of time that has translated to grow three times my goal and twice the profitability that I projected my business plan just four months into my new business. This is Fred. To say that Rick is the preeminent guru of networking is an understatement. I've been working with Rick for about a year and was feeling anxious to better my networking skills. I did one-on-one -on -one training with Rick and he completely changed the way I think about networking. His advice has enabled me to refocus and revamp how I network. By the way, if you guys have any questions, type it into the questions box. So if you want to see how I can help you, the website's one referral away. Dot com one referral away dot com you go there you'll see that I help people build their YouTube channel and optimize their videos and then if you wanted me to critique your elevator pitch you watch the video send it to me I critique it on video and post it on my YouTube channel and I send you the final version of your elevator pitch and if you want it for free and you don't want me to help you with it, you click there and watch the video. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's all kinds of different options. Don't worry about that price and click on it to look at it. This is what I want to show you real quick. The One Referral Away course. If you go to onerefferralaway.com, you click this box. There's an intro letter. There's the outline. It's 12 modules. It's eight, nine hours long. Everything I know about the basics of networking. It includes a lot of stuff. I'm not going to go crazy on explaining it. Just go to the website if you're interested. If you want a discount, click this button where it says $7.95. Click this button, and you're going to enter your info, and you're going to see have a coupon. I want you to enter in the number 200, and when you do that, it takes the price down to 500. So all of this is on one referral away. That's the logo. You click it. You enter your info. You enter the number 200 in the coupon code. It discounts it. Now, that includes, just so we're on the same page, the entire course online for you to go on it anytime you want to watch it, and one hour of one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. It's $5.95. There's my unbelievably hard pitch, hard close, where I'm pressuring and forcing you to buy it. Not. And that's my personal information. That's the website, One Referral Away. That's my personal cell phone number. I would prefer text in the beginning. But you can text me. That's my email address, one referral away at gmail.com. That's the website. If you I'm done. Thank you very much for getting on. If you have any questions, type them in the questions box. For you to spend an hour and 16 minutes with me is an honor. I hope you learned something. This is just the tip of the tip of the tip of what building a referral-based practice is, and I hope it helped you. If you want, if you have questions about the course, that the, any of the education that I told you about, I'm here to help you. Uh, I hope you learned something today. It's the quotes, the quotes, the quotes, the quotes. And this is my card, and I have the same quotes on the back that my wife does on her card. Quotes everywhere. And then hopefully you can send it to other people who, who have said things like, I need more referrals. My business is floundering. I see other people making money, and I'm not. I want to sell more homes. Please send the video off to them. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thanks for getting on. Bye-bye.